grand evening family friends or grand rising wherever you may be we are back it is me papa seer i am more than excited to be here tonight we have a beautiful class put together for you in my series of online workshops that will be coming out more to you soon so i appreciate everyone being here tonight tonight we are discussing something that i'm pretty sure many of you have been exposed to at some point in your life it's an element that all of us have tasted many of us have bathed in we've had some knowledge of it in the realm of the esoteric sense or in the realm of the spiritual sense but today i really wanted to delve deep into the spirit of a very sacred element that the creator has blessed us with that has kept sustenance preservation in our lives and that is the sacred element and spirit of salt so i welcome each of you tonight to this class the sacred secrets of salt blessings and curses by yours truly papa seer our course objectives tonight we are going to start off with a short lecture to begin with the understanding of the spirit of salt we will discuss symbolism as well as the spirit's duality we will also cover in depth many rituals and hoodoo based workings for the following jinx removal floor washes and baths folklore conjuring the spirit of salt barriers cursing foot track magic and also the art of regri so i would say to you sit back relax make sure that you have your notebooks handy or if you're taking notes i prefer this course be taken on a computer to have the best experience but this course is also mobile phone capable so without further ado let's go ahead and get started the symbolism of salt greetings and welcome to our class on magical salt where we will embark on the journey into the captivating world of salt's symbolism in the sacred dance between practicality and profound spirituality salt takes center stage offering us a harmonious blend of the practical and the mystical throughout the annals of time salt has been a treasured element in our lives going beyond mere culinary enhancement its unique gift of preserving both sustenance and the essence of existence has elevated salt to a symbol of eternity and the, rel the relentless flow of time transcending the boundaries of our everyday experiences the falsity symbolism of salt finds its roots in delicate interplay between practical utility and profound meaning within various cultural contexts. This arises from Salt's intrinsic characteristics straddling the line between destructive and preservation. Consequently, Salt's image has transversed a spectrum of positivity and negativity, often coexisting harmoniously. Today, we shall delve into the functions of Salt, uncovering its historical significance folk remedies, and mystical applications. So salt is and always has been and always will be one of the most important and also cherished elements. Salt is one of the elements that has started wars, created trade. It literally has made or break certain economies just depending upon where we're talking about or what region we're talking about in history 
but salt also has a very mystical precedence in all of our lives. You see, salt is a very, very dual spirit. It doesn't just operate on one energy. But I want you to think about some of the characteristics of salt before we even get into this class a little bit further. And I think that, that, that if we start there, everything else is going to make sense, right? So salt is a preserver. It can keep food preserved for a long time. In fact, it was the first food pres preservative of our ancestors. They didn't have refrigerators. They didn't have ways of storing food for long periods of time, but salt was plentiful, you see? So they would store the food, the meat in the salt, pack it in loads and loads of salt, and they would preserve it for a while, or they would be able to travel with salt for long periods. So our ancestors understood that there was a power within salt to extend life. You see, salt has the power to make life eternal, to keep something alive. If we go into the ancient Egyptian culture, salt was used as a preservation ingredient in the realm of mummification. So salt has, has played center stage not only in the kitchen for centuries, but salt has been a companion of spiritualists all throughout the diaspora, all over the world for centuries. Salt was there, okay? Now, the beauty of today's class is we're going to look at salt from two different lenses, multiple lenses, to be honest with you. But the main two lenses that we're going to look at it from is from the point of preservation and also from the point of destruction or a better word when referring, referring to salt would be corrosion. So let's take another step forward. Preservation. Salt. With its dual role, as a preservative and antiseptic, holds a remarkable place in human history. It stands as the earliest known preservative, safeguarding perishables and extending their lifespan. The innate ability to prolong life and its profound medicinal properties led the ancients to view salt as nothing less than sacred, an essential element in their spiritual practices. Its symbolism as a guardian of eternal time elevated salt to a reverend status, embodying the spirit of protection. In our journey today, we shall delve into the mystical applications of salt as a potent protective element, exploring its significance and the various ways it has been harnessed for spiritual and metaphysical purposes. So now we're going to talk about the destructive properties of salt as well, okay? So salt also is known for its corrosion and how it's able to break something down. I also want you all to think about this too. Salt doesn't have a seed, okay? So the element of Fertility does not exist with salt as it would with an herb or a root or a plant. You see, salt is an element. It does not duplicate itself within itself. Salt typically revered for its preserving and purifying qualities also possesses a lesser known aspect within the realm of spiritual beliefs, the potential for destruction. Now, while salt is primarily associated with purity and protection, it's crucial to recognize that its inherent nature can be harnessed for both constructive and destructive purposes. In some beliefs, 
Salt is seen as a potent symbol of cleansing, capable of eradicating ne negative energy, malevolent spirits, and curses. However, this same purifying energy or power can be channeled to disrupt, to corrode, and ultimately to obliterate. You see, salt's corrosive nature when harnessed for destructive purposes can be linked to a relentless force that dissolves bonds. It can erase connections. It also is very potent at breaking down barriers. In certain rituals, salt's destructive potential is used to sever ties, it could end relationships, banish unwanted influences or people. It acts as a metaphorical wrecking ball. It dismantles the very foundation of what was once secure and what was once stable. Now, when employed intentionally, Salt symbolism transforms into a harbinger of disintegration, symbolizing the unraveling bonds and the annihilation of unwanted attachments, things that we want to let go of, things that we no longer want bonded or bound to us. The duality of salt with its ability to purify and destroy serves as a reminder that spiritual practices are multifaceted. Just as salt can cleanse and protect, it can also dismantle and disrupt. If I were to give my opinion on this, and I am, salt to me embodies the face of hoodoo in many ways in its essence of duality the power that it holds the necessity that it's that it's needed even just for day-to-day -day activities right and we know that hoodoo is something that is integrated into your life as a daily practice, as a culture, as a way of life. Well, I want you to think about just how practical salt is, right? You use salt in your bath. You use salt in your food. You have salt in your body that is needed to keep you alive so that you won't disintegrate. But then at the same time, and just as well as with hoodoo, whereas it's necessary, it's needed, it's beautiful, it preserves, it heals, it does all of those things, it is still very much a dual spirit that straddles the line between light and dark or left hand and right hand. And just as well as it is such a necessity in our life, when we say necessity, you have to remember that destruction is also a part of that necessary balance of life, that things have to be destroyed for something else to be created. So for me, salt holds many different energies, and it really does play a very potent role in our spiritual arsenal as the equalizer. It can stable things. It has the potential to reach both sides of the coin. And it doesn't judge one or the other. Imagine having a tool in your hands that if applied in water, it can preserve your skin, keep it youthful, radiant, dissolve any type of you know, germs that are associated with the skin, right? But then in your same hand where you have this element that can preserve you, if applied with the right intention, 
it can break down the very fabric of someone's relationship or an attachment that something or someone may have to you. So salt is very powerful. And that's why this class for me is so you know, personal to me because we talk about salt, we use salt, but do you really know salt? Do you connect with it? Do you know the potential? Do you know its true potentiality? So as we move forward now, we are going to go over multiple spells and rituals that are associated in the youth. Hey family, to gain full access to this audio video class, go to our website, www.hoodooconjurerootwork.com. In this captivating class, you'll unlock the mysteries of salt like never before. You'll discover how this humble mineral transforms into a conduit for blessings and a tool for curses in the hands of a hoodoo practitioner. I'm so thrilled to introduce the sacred secrets of salt blessings and curses check it out now on our website www.hoodooconjurerework.com